I used to tell people that the government pays me to blow things up, and then they used to ask, are you in the NSA or the FBI or something like that? And I said, no, I teach science. They are our public servants, but why do I get the feeling that a lot of them are more in it for serving themselves? I know that I'm a teacher in every cell of my body. <laughs> we can achieve brilliance and we will achieve brilliance and it's gonna be a lot of work, but it's, it's completely doable for everybody in this classroom. If they're here to serve our kids, why does it seem they're only serving us a big old bill? I had no idea how much money I was gonna have to spend out of my own pocket because I didn't get anything really. When I started telling my friends that I wanted to go into education, Everyone immediately said, you went to Harvard, you should be a doctor or a lawyer, you should make money. Everyone's heard that old axiom that those who can do and those who can't teach. The proponents of that axiom have never stood in front of a classroom. Good morning, first grade. Good morning, first grade. Teachers make thousands of decisions a day. And they don't do it about an abstract idea. They do it about the life of a child. You can't imagine anything harder. Given the low pay and long hours, teachers burn out at a rate unparalleled in almost any other field. I feel like I give everything I have, but it's never enough. As the man, you're supposed to be the provider. When you can't provide for your family, you feel like a loser. We would like them to be getting to know their students and their parents, making sure that they're going to provide the great instruction that we've been talking about. Instead, they're off to 7-Eleven. Almost every teacher I know has a second job. Nobody would question a doctor being paid or a lawyer being paid. And I think the skill set required is at least as complex, if not more complex. In America, 46% of teachers quit before their fifth year. My son just graduated from college this year and he's making way more selling cell phones for Verizon than he ever could as a teacher. Something's wrong when selling cell phones is more important to our society than being a teacher. There are currently 3.2 million public school teachers in the United States. In the next 10 years, 1.8 million of them will be eligible for retirement. Who will replace them? Having a teacher that's, that you can trust, you know, that will change lives.